Ashe and Atakiyukta are pioneers in the support of people who want to live their own lives in their own community by giving funders like the HSE the opportunity to grant money directly to people that they can use to buy their own supports that suit them to live in the place where they want to make a contribution to their community. Ashe and Atakiyukta pioneers individualised funding arrangements in Ireland. But just long and short of uh, why I'm here, in a sense, is Oshina Takiyakta. We started a model of uh, direct funding about five years ago. Now, at the time, we were a little bit, uh, we were a little bit more aggressive than maybe Tony was earlier on. We showed me the money. We said, "Give me the money," <laughs> I, and we had a little arrangement with four or five people, and we said. Right, if we do a worse job than anybody else on it, you can take the money back. So they give us a year, and then they give us another two years, and they haven't got any money back yet, right? So we're showing them the different kind of ways of actually saving money. And uh, dip in, one, in one situation recently, we've been able to return, reduce the budget by 2,000 a month, and still get better value for the money that the individual has. So we're five year old at this stage. We're not really talking about a whole lot of ins and outputs and all of that. We want to see a whole different impact on people with disabilities' lives. We see that people with disabilities and their families make the best decisions. And let me explain that to you. Even when the decision is absolutely wrong, because it's your decision, or the individual's, it's the best decision. You will never make that mistake again, generally speaking. And so that's how we all live in our own lives. We, we take lots of advice, as Michael said earlier on, etc. But at the end of the day, the call is ours. Now, if you take away that call from individuals, which we've been doing forever and a day, you remove any kind of potential of autonomy and growth and development. So we're saying, and we're predicting here today, that as people go and make the decisions, and I'm seeing how people are progressing already, that in not so, not so far distant, individuals are going to be running their own businesses based on managing the business of their own lifestyle initially. We had our first assembly, which is open to all, cross disability, everything, in Athlone earlier in 2015. And people came from all over the country on the day. And it was a celebration of life. We threw in a few little serious notes here and there. But the whole day was about a celebration music, etc. I'm glad to be here kind of day. So, and we're going to do more of that and we need more and more people to rally in behind that because sometimes we can, including me, we can waffle too much. Um, in AT, I, 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 just to explain, we have two roles. We, first of all, give me the money role and then we arrange which we sign SLAs for that money etc. Some of you would know what that is, and some of you are better off not knowing what an SLA is. And the other thing, role we have then, is to support the individual. We give them all their own money in their own bank account, right? And we support them and advise them as to how best run their business, and it's usually a mini company, right? A mini uh, uh, company limited by guarantee. And these are easier to run now since the change in the Companies Act 2014 came into play. And individuals usually get on with it. And the great thing about it is when it goes right, when something goes right for them, they get great People, we all get great satisfaction and, and so forth. So we don't have to give that satisfaction over, over to the people who owns our budget. I mean, we have some people here today 
who are receiving funding through our organization, but they don't have to put down AT on it, or that they're not even associated if they don't want to. You know, that kind of thing, so they're able to go and be themselves.